Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner, speaking with Brian Stan and Nicole DeBoe. You're both hosting the 6th Annual World MMA Awards tonight. How excited are you about this opportunity and working together? Oh, extremely excited. We never met until yesterday. As soon as I meet her, she makes fun of me. She calls me a diva of all things, which, I mean, knows me, knows I'm not. But it broke the ice. I mean, we had a, we've had a lot of fun the last two days, and, and I hope that Nicole continues to do more with MMA and, and somehow finds a way to insert in her busy schedule. Yeah, yeah. It's been a couple of years since I worked with MMA. Um, I did the red carpet for the launch of MMA on UFC on Fox. So I'm so happy to be back here for this award show and to be working with Brian, who is a true gentleman. Diva aside, this guy's a gentleman. <laughs> it's that military background, I'm sure. It's got you all prepped to be able to take care of any situation that comes your way. Look, you know, I've got a wife and I've got three daughters, all right? When I was in battle one time, I was getting shot at, and I looked at this guy and said, God, surround me with women if I make it out of this. Not quite what I had in mind, <laughs> but he answered my prayers. So I'm used to being around ladies. Here you go. And now that you're actually, you know, working as an analyst on that site, we have such a cast of characters, speaking of which, who would you say is the biggest diva on the show? <laughs> You know, the biggest diva on the shows, that's tough. You know, I, I, you know, Dominic Cruz is up there, and he's not a diva. It's just he's passionate. And if you disagree with him, you're going to argue for an hour because he's probably one of the most competitive guys, which makes him a champion. He's definitely not a diva, though. Uh, you know, there really isn't. This sport, everybody's so humble because we all fight, we all lose, we all win big. And, uh, you know, in, in fact, talking to Fox executives, they've actually told me this, and they're not lying, but they've said that this sport has had the easiest transition to have athletes go into analysts than any other sport because we're almost already naturally trained for it. And I think a lot of that comes from the intangibles you build through martial arts and then obviously the humility that you have when you have to compete in a sport like this. So you retired and walked away from the sport this year. How uh, difficult was that for you to make that decision? It was really hard. You know, I, I love the sport. I still have it. I train very often. I'm still able to compete at the highest level if I wanted to. But everybody gets to a point where you've got to be smart in your career. I've got three little girls at home. I've got a wife. I played football for a long time. I went to combat for a long time. And, and it was just time for me to stop so I could be healthy to not only live my life but enjoy my life. And you're also nominated for the fight of the year, Vanderlei Silva. Hey. What were your thoughts on the fight? Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, as he mentioned, it, it could have ended in Brian's yeah. favor. I would have liked it so much more had that been the case, but what a fight. I mean, it's up against, what, two or three other great fights. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're all tough to watch, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a tight race. It is, it is. I think 2013 had the best fights we've seen yet. You know, when, when you're talking about Alexander Gustafson versus John Jones, Gilbert Melendez versus Diego Sanchez is insane, and obviously me and Vanderlei just completely threw caution to the wind and have a blatant disregard for our own health and uh, you know it's just great to be a part of such a legendary fight like that. Last question for me, your uh, Chael Sonnen will be fighting Vanderlei and you fought him before so being with that experience that you have how do you see that fight going? You know I think the matchup favors Chael. Chael still has it, he's still very athletic if you look at his fights up until recently he hasn't taken a whole lot of damage he's very quick and fast and we all know what Chael can do, what he's going to do. He's going to go in there, he's going to try and take a guy down. Um, and it being, if it's a three-round fight or a five-round fight, it's going to be interesting. That's the big key. But if I had to pick a winner now, I think Chael has the advantage. Although Vanderlei's got one-punch power that can change a fight. I could speak to that. <laughs> well, we thank you very much for your time and enjoy your time tonight hosting the awards. Sure, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you.